Okay, I'm just brushing him, make sure he's got no pine needles, nothing in there. And he's not sore. If he's sore and you run that brush down there, he'll flinch or drop. So this here is kind of a perfect build for a pack horse here. He's about 1,400 pounds, wears a number two shoe. You see he's got a little bit heavier bone than average riding horse. A little pot to his belly in here. He's got a little thing. He's got really good withers. He's not really long. He's not short, short coupled. He's just about the right length and he's not too tall. He's pretty solid. You can see he's a pretty solid horse all the way along. And the big thing is he's nice and quiet. He's gentle. He's easy to work with. This is my pack saddle. This is a Decker modification. Has a one and a quarter inch felt pad on it. Plus it has another one inch pad on the thing. This pad is latched right onto the saddle so that it can't slide out, doesn't walk out when he's packing. It goes on as a single unit. So you land that there, sit him in the pocket. Next thing's your britching. This is what I say, nice quiet horse. Press collar next. Unlike a, a riding horse, your pack never helps you. It works against you every place it goes. It means back going uphill, it means forward going downhill. So anything you could put on that that helps this horse balance that load, it takes the weight off them so that all your cinches aren't doing the work. Your britching's going to hold my cinch back when I bring it up here. Now I don't know if you could see this, I'll step around to this side here. So this is basically the front cinch. And we'll tie this a little different than you will on a riding saddle, you'll tie a quick release. Okay, so. Make sure you come up, you start as you would with an ordinary riding saddle. Goes through. Normally somebody would go across there instead of that, you go right back, right beside it. Turn that into a bowl. And this becomes a quick release. So in a panic, this will break right to the bottom. The other thing is, when you tie it this way, you don't have four or five folds of, of material there, which is going to be a spot where your box is going to start pressing on your horse. You'll see that this is laying right in flat with the rest of it. Back cinch, you're going to sit it back, probably on this gelding halfway between the center of his stomach and his penis. Get your strap. Same thing. Now this is not a riding horse, it's a pack horse. This is gonna hold that saddle down, that's gonna hold that weight down when he's going downhill. And you're gonna tighten this, probably as tight as most people would tighten a riding cinch in the front. Through, back, and a bow. Now we'll tighten him just before we pack. Now this bridge in here goes up to the front cinch. So if this all starts working forward, this is going to save this from going underneath his leg and rubbing him raw. So this is going to pick up his cinch. This one here is going to pick up the saddle. This one here is going to pick up the saddle, and this is going to keep the cinch from sliding back. So he's picked up on both sides exactly the same. That saddle should not move at all, and it's belts fairly good. You see he's got good solid withers, this horse. He shooed all the way around, so we'll go get some gear to pack. <laughs> 